to you in the mighty name of Jesus I bring you greetings from the open heavens today this morning Sunday night 2018 we are going to be considering another wonderful topic but before we go before we consider the topic before us today I want to appreciate each one of us watching us over the YouTube, the internet, on your cell phone, on the TV, bringing us to your sitting room. It's because, Lord, you have accepted us to preach the good news to you. And my prayer is that God heaven, of heaven will perfect all that concerns you. In the name of Jesus. Can we go before the Almighty God? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. Bless and worship your name, O God Almighty. Because this is the day, O God Almighty, you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Glory be unto your name, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Almighty, as we have ordained this day, we thank you and we bless your name for ordaining our life, for ordaining us to see this wonderful day. Glory be unto you, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord Almighty, as we consider another topic of the book of open heavens father we pray lord in our hearts in our life cause heaven to be open unto us that we may know you and the power of your resurrection in the name of jesus lord almighty god we want to thank you and bless your name of god even for your son that you have been using in this end time to bring about your purpose and your counsel in the life of men we talk about Pastor E. A. Adeboye, that is preaching your word throughout the world, especially even the author of the open heavens that we are going to be discussing today. Father, we pray for wisdom. We pray for energy. We pray for your grace. We pray, O oh God, for your sustenance. We pray, O oh God Almighty, for your empowerment upon his life. We come, we come, we, we, we lift him up unto you. He will live to declare your goodness in the land of the living in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, for his family, both the biological children, his wife, and all the spiritual children. Father, we pray that God Almighty, none of us will fail. We fail you in Jesus' name. And God Almighty, we that you are using is as his lieutenant to walk along with him in, in conjunction with the power of the Holy Spirit to do your will, O God Almighty, we pray. Lord, empower us, empower us, we will not fail you as well. In Jesus' name, we are free. Thank you for this morning. Lord, there are as many that are watching us now. Father, we commit them unto you. Let your name alone be glorified upon their life in Jesus' name. Speak your word to every situation. Today, that your name may be glorified. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, I bring you greetings from the book of Hope Levels. And I say, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'll be well with you today in Jesus' name. And I thank you very much for bringing us to your, to, your, to, to your presence this morning. And I pray that God Almighty, as you yourself have come before the presence of God, He will not depart from you in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. The topic before us today, as we have said earlier, is beyond the messenger. Today, seventh, today night of September 2018, and the topic for us from the book of Open Heavens is Beyond the Messenger. Beyond the Messenger. When we look at that particular topic, Beyond the Messenger, pastors, evangelists, archbishops, and whatever general overseers, by the grace of God, we are the messenger of Christ. We carry nothing 
but the word of God. We carry nothing but the message of the scriptures. And in most cases, many of the viewers, especially as you are viewing me now, and especially as many even congregants of all of some parishes, of some such churches, they don't look beyond the messenger. They look at the messenger. Well, we cannot say you should not look at the pastor, especially if the pastor is not doing well. And then we want to anoint you. Definitely, you will think twice before you surrender yourself for such tutelage and such anointing. Nevertheless, the word of God, the Bible says the word of God stands sure. It stands sure. It's the same word of God yesterday, today, and forevermore. It will not change. If the word of God says you will be top, whoever is saying that you will be on top, doesn't matter. That's what, the word, that's what the word of God says. And you should hold on to that. So, we're going to discuss a lot of things about people who look beyond the messenger. And about people who look, who glue their presence, their faith on the messenger. The word of God is not, it's not written by you and me or by anybody. Is the, it, 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 it came as an inspiration from the, of, of the power of God and it is written is the word of God praise the Lord praise the Lord for the beginning for, the, for example the Bible says in the beginning in the book of Genesis see the Bible says in the beginning was the word in the beginning was the word and nothing that was being created that is that is being created without the word so the word of God creates the word of God perfect. The word of God brings about to, about to life. The word of God come to existence and bring healing. Praise the Lord. So this morning, as we consider looking beyond the messenger, I pray that God Almighty will grant unto you grace to look beyond the messenger. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to the book, to, the, to, to our memory verse. Of today. The memory verse is taken from the book of Luke. The book of Luke, chapter 9. The book of Luke, chapter 9. I will read from verse 48. The book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 48. And it reads, And said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, received me. And whosoever shall receive me, Receive him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. Book of Luke chapter 9, verse 14. Let's read it once again. And he said unto them, and apparently this is the word of God, and this is Christ talking here. I say, and he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child, in my name received me. And whosoever shall receive me, receive him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. May the Lord bless us the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. We are still going to the Bible reading of today. But quickly, let's look at, let's, 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 let's take time to analyze a little bit that particular memory verse. This is the word of God. This is Jesus talking to his disciples. This is Jesus himself talking to his disciples. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child. Now, what does that mean? Jesus, Jesus Christ has, is trying to tell us that he can even send a child to deliver his word. We cannot say, well, as a, as a child, why should, I, why should I listen to him? That's what, that's what the word of God says now. It says, we shall, whosoever shall, rec shall receive this child in my name have received me. And whoever received me received he that and sent him, me. And who? Who sent Christ? That is our father, that's our father, our God himself. So, if you ignore the word of the prophecy, if you ignore the word of the prophet, if you, ignore, if you ignore the word that, that has been spoken, the word of God that has been spoken through the servants of God, the sons of God, the messenger of God, then you'll have 
you have you have neglected or not received the word of God. But if you receive it in faith, it will work for you. So beloved, I beseech you this morning that you should receive the word, the word of God, and work on it. But the Bible says the word of God will not will not go by. Neither will it be will it be unfulfilled. That every word of God that has been spoken from the scriptures will be fulfilled. My brother, my, my, my beloved, my brother and sister, take it and hold on to that. If the word of God says you will be up, you will be on top. That's what the word of God says. He says you will be the head and not the, the tail. Hold on to that word of God. Whoever, whoever, whoever declares it unto you, doesn't matter. But the he that has spoken it from the, from the scripture is able to accomplish it. And it will be accomplished in your life in Jesus' name. Quickly, let's quickly look at the book of let's let's let, let, let look at this this book of Matthew and see a particular incident that happened there. The, our Bible reading for the day. Book of Matthew, chapter 13. The book of Matthew, I will read from verse 13. I mean, I will read, I will read chapter 13. Chapter 13, I will take it from verse 54. Verse 54 to the last verse. That is verse 58. And let me read. And when he was come unto his own country, he taught them in their, in their synagogue, in as much that they were astonished and said, We are not as this man, this wisdom, and these mighty works. Is, is this, this the carpenter's son? That is, they're talking about Jesus now. You know, the father of Jesus, Joseph. Is a carpenter by profession. Is it, is it not this mother called Mary? You know, the, the mother of Jesus is called Mary. And that is, that is the truth. And his brethren and his brother, James and Joseph and Simeon and Judas, like we, know, we, know, we know them. We know their family. We know them. So people say, wow, this is a fantastic why? Where did this man come from? With the, that speak with wisdom. That speak. That speak the word of God accurately. Someone, someone saying, we know him. He's not the son of David. I mean, he's not the son of Joseph. We know his father. I thought the man is learning the art of carpentry. Why is he not? Why, not, why is he not speaking elo eloquently, with wisdom, with power? Praise the Lord. But we know. We know, we know his mother, Mary. Praise the Lord. And his sister, and they are all with us. When they had this man, all these things, verse 57 says, and they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. And he, and he did not many mighty works. They are, they are because they are unbelief. May the Lord bless us in the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. Before we go to the word of God through that our Bible, have, our Father and the Lord have written, I just want us to take note of this thing. You know, in the last verse there, it's very, very critical. The, the last verse that says, and did not, and it, it did not, Many mighty works. They are because of the unbelief. This is Jesus Christ. Do you want to believe and do you want to hold on that Jesus Christ will get to a place and he will not perform miracles? Far be he not. It's not possible. Do you know why they could not? They could not see the manifestation of the power of God. It's because of what? On their unbelief. And in most cases, Jesus Christ. When they, when, when, when they perform miracle and people hold them to it, he will say, go. Your, your faith has healed you. Your faith has lifted you up. Your faith has done this. In most cases, they look down on him. 
And anybody that looked down on Jesus Christ, all his prophets, all his anointed one, there's no, there's no tendency and there's no power that will manifest. Why? Because you have demonstrated unbelief. You have demonstrated unrighteousness. You have demonstrated unfaithfulness. It is by the faith that man receives the word of God that, that, that brings about the power of God. So if you look down on the message, some of, of the message of the, of the word of God, of, 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 of the prophets, or, the, or, 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 your, or, your, or your pastors, in most cases, if you look down and you want to sit down under that, that, on that the message of such man that you are castigating, under, under the street of, under, under the administration of a man that is anointed, but because he has offended you one way or the other, and you, you rubbished him, and you, want, and you want God to move in your life, my beloved, it cannot work. I may be sounding sarcastic, or I may be sounding somehow, but the truth is that it cannot work. They did it to Jesus Christ from the scripture that we have just read. Is it not the son of Mary? We know his father is a carpenter. Where did he learn? Even, and, and Jesus Christ spoke eloquently. The, can we read it? Let's, let's, let's read verse 54. Verse 54 again. And when he was come into his own country, the Bible says he taught them in their synagogue. It is their own synagogue. In as much they were, in as much they, that they were astonished. They were saying, Wow. And he said, Where has this man, this wisdom, this mighty works? Where did he come from? Some people are saying, Where did no, this man speaks with power. There's a power up, there's a back, there's a power that back every word that he utters. Where does some people say? That's why nothing will happen. Beloved, let us look beyond. The messenger is the word of God. It cannot go back to God void. It will accomplish that purpose that which it has been spoken in your life, in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, I shall be the top. I will not be beneath. Whoever says what? I will hold on to it because that's the word of God. Praise it the Lord. So I want to bless you this morning. Before we go to the to the book of the, to the book the real book of open heavens, hold on to every word that has been spoken through the servants of God, through the sons of God, through the prophet of God, especially through your pastor. Go under their tutelage. If they are misbehaving, leave, leave that for God to, to, to deal with them. Or if you know. If you know, don't, don't sit down there and be castigating them. Leave. Move to where your spirit we 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 align with. But if you sit down under the under the under the true knowledge of a, of a man of God or a servant of God or a messenger of God, and you are castigating him, my brother and sister, you will not go far. My prayer is that you will you will begin to change your attitude. Towards the servant of God today in Jesus' name. Praise it the Lord. Let's quickly go to the word to the book of the open heavens for today. Many times we miss messages from God and the miracle that accompany them because we fail to look beyond the person that the Lord is, is, is using or is walking through. The experience, the full the, the to experience the fullness of God. A wise child of God will give heed to the word of to the word of God. For example, in the book of Chronicle, chapter twenty, verse twenty. The book of Chronicle, chapter twenty, verse twenty, which says, "Hear me, O Judah, and and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. So shall the shall ye be established. Also believe in his prophets." And, and, and you shall prosper. Chronicle chapter 20, verse 20 says that. Second Chronicle, I mean. 
Interestingly, it was a king and not a prophet who gave this message. Can you hear that? It was a king that, that, that declared this word, even in the word of God. How beautiful this world will be if, if our, our ruler will admit, like King Nebuchadnezzar did what the Most High God, the Most High rule in the kingdom of men, and he gives it to whosoever he chooses, chooses. According to the book of Daniel chapter 4, verse 25 to 35, you know, know the account of King Nebuchadnezzar who God gave an instruction and he ruled righteously. But thank God, when God humbled him, he came back to God and worshipped God. Praise the Lord. Today, in today's memory verse, our Lord Jesus Christ said, if we receive even a child in his name, we, we have received him, and if we received him, we have received his father who sent him. Regardless of the age or status of a pastor, if you have received him or in the name of the Lord, whatever the word of, of the Lord has sent through that person will work for you. It's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. Whatever the word of God says, it will work for you and especially be in the name of Jesus. Nehemiah will have lost is will have lost his miracle if he had not looked beyond the fact that prophet prophet Elijah did not receive him personally or the dirty river Jordan he was instructed to go and dip himself you can read this account in the, this account in the book of second king chapter chapter 5 from verse 9 to 14 when he was asked to go and wash in the in the, in the dirty river thank god he, he, he obeyed and he received this miracle. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. This young man believed that Jesus came from God because God performed a miracle in his life through him. And, and even though the Jews maligned Jesus Christ as a sinner, he refused to believe them. John, in the book of John 9, 24, 24 to 25. Because Jesus Christ grew up in their midst as a brethren and countrymen, the citizens of Nazareth failed to see him and as anything more than the son of Joseph the carpenter. The people of Nazareth. That is why they wouldn't get their miracle. Who is that not son of Joseph the carpenter? My prayer that God, God will have mercy on us. Even as we believe the word of God today in Jesus' name. For this reason, most of them miss their miracle. Like I've said earlier, they miss their miracle because they castigated the Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Matthew 13, verse, Matthew 13, the book that we have just read, Matthew 13, verse 58, it reads again, and it did, and it did not many mighty works, therefore, because of the, um, their unbelief, they could not believe Jesus Christ. They could not believe that the son of Mary could talk eloquently. They could not believe that the son of, the son of Joseph the carpenter could perform wonders. They could not. That's why, that's, what they, they, that's why they could not get their miracle. In several occasions, in a, in a mighty conference, in a mighty crusade, people, some people will go with a their, with their, with their great testimony. While some people will go with nothing. Because what, what they will be busy doing when the message is going on is to be analyzing the message of the, of the man. Or looking at his, his hairstyle. Looking at the, the way he cut, the way, the way he dressed. Leaving the main thing and pursuing shadows. The Lord Almighty God will help you today in the name of Jesus as you hold on to the word of God. And receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. In order to help the people of this time to receive their blessing, Jesus often, Jesus often had to encourage them to look into the scripture to confirm that what he was saying about himself was true. And sometimes he performed miracles to show that he was the Messiah. 
in the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 17 to 21. Luke, 20, Luke, Luke 7, verse 19 to 22. However, most of the people in his time could not look beyond his humility, humanity. Beloved, today I encourage you to search the scripture to ascertain the authenticity of the any message and, and its messenger. You must look beyond the messenger and seeing God in action. Behind them, and it will and you will be helped in the and it will help your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will help your infallible word. It will bring the infallible word of God into reality in the name of Jesus. I thank you today. I bless, I, I bless the name of God for his faithfulness. Because today you continue to hold on to God. Not the messenger, but the word of God. I will beseech you today. Hold on to the word of God. God bless you. And now, can we take this prayer point? Like the Jews in Berea, in the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 10 to 11, mean to search the scripture to confirm whatever Peter says. It, if it tallies with the scripture, believe and act on it for your own good. Rather than criticizing the man, Whatever it says, go and search the scriptures. Search your word. And the word says, yes, hold on to it. Leave the man dressing. Leave the man, leave, leave, the, leave the man background. Leave the son of who he is. Jesus Christ was born in a manger. His place of birth do not matter to the power of God upon his life. Where you are located, does not determine the authority of God upon your life. You may be located anywhere and God will touch you there. Elijah, the Spirit of God led the Elijah to bushel it. And the, and the Bible says God fed him there, even with ravens. The Lord Almighty God, we, we empowered you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless your name, O God Almighty. Glory be unto your name, O God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can we sing in four? God bless you.
Let it rain. Open the floodgates of hell.